Welcome back, I am Captain Xavier, and I hit a goodwill yesterday and found this and was trying to decide what on earth I should put it in. And then this came in the mail! Uh, yes, this is in fact the Super NES Super Scope, which I didn't even know existed until I posted my uh, Zapper Blaster and people said you should do something with a Super Scope. And so I went on eBay and I ordered one and it showed up. And I kind of wish I'd looked a little bit closer. It's missing some parts. It doesn't have the battery door. It doesn't have what I assume were, like, scopes or something that attached up there. I may try to hunt those down separately. But uh, the battery cover really isn't a problem because I'm going to need a pump back there anyway. Because I'm going to put an XBZ in this thing and have a, uh, a Super Nintendo rocket launcher sniper rifle. It, it'll be a blast. Um, the current... Zapper blaster is going to a fan, as I said, but I absolutely am going to make myself another one so that I can have a Super Nintendo loadout because that will be fantastic. So let's get these things apart and see how this is going to work. All right, well, let's take a look at a couple of things. First of all, I would like the button to line up with the original button. I don't know if that'll actually work and still be able to have it centered. I think it just might. We will see. Um, we'll see what can be done. Then I might have to take the button out and just have that sticking up, but I'd really like to be able to keep that original button there, um, which would, would be fantastic. A um, couple of other issues, of course. This is considerably longer than the XBZ. If I want the rocket post to be sticking out, which it's going to need to because I obviously want to launch um, demolisher rockets, which are going to be um, too big to fit in this opening, of course, so the, the peg will need to stick out the front, which either means I'm going to need to put this here, and, uh, yeah, what I'll probably end up doing is put this back here, cutting the back of it so that this uh, pump still works. Um, that wouldn't be too difficult. we we'll just need to cut a notch so that the pump would line up and that would uh, reduce the amount of modifications I have to make. And I like that. I definitely like how that would look. Um, and then I'm probably just going to need to make an extended um, barrel, which is going to have a lot of dead space, which I'm not a huge fan of. But uh, if I seal the XBZ up a little bit, uh, I should still be able to get more than enough power to launch a demolisher rocket even with some added dead space. We shall see. Let's get this thing open and see what we're actually working with on the inside first. But for nostalgic reasons, I wish to use the original fire button. It even says fire on it. It needs to be what fires the blaster. So that means we're going to need to move the tank all the way back to here. The downside of that is it does look like we are probably going to lose two screw heads as a result, but they're in the middle. Uh, we, we're still going to have the ones up front and we're still going to have all the ones in back, so we're just losing the two screw heads in the middle here and here, which I consider acceptable losses. I like that we already have what is going to amount to a barrel stabilizer up here. Uh, should help keep the barrel aligned once I actually do this. To extend it, I'm going to cut um, as little or as far back as I can and still be able to get the rocket onto it. And then hopefully I, I have brass that is the right inside diameter and I can just uh, use that to extend it. Um, we'll need to. Uh, drill off or cut off the very tip uh, because these holes are going to be covered by uh, the brass. If I end up using uh, 17 30 seconds inch brass, it means I'm going to have a long brass barrel in here and I could then uh, load an elite dart. Uh, and if I had some kind of a ramrod, which it wouldn't be hard to uh, build one into this, so I could load a dart really far in there, this thing would make a heck of a sniper rifle as well as a rocket launcher. So that is the current plan. I am going to get started. This, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is why I keep random parts around. Because I need something to go on the inside of the pump rod to connect the two up. And it just so happens that a 
recon barrel flimsy peg thing is the perfect piece. Now this works out because we needed to cut this rod anyway in order to get this cap on here in order to keep the plunger from just pulling out the back. It is done. And it pleases me. Um, yes, the fire button did end up being where I wanted it to be. It's the only really kind of finicky bit. It's not as well attached as I would like, and I will probably try to fix it right now. It's only being held on with um, hot glue. There was no way to using the original part to really get it secure. I'm going to have to figure out some way to fabricate something to keep it from popping out, but I will get to that later. I, I, I assume it has some kind of a scope attachment. I'm going to try to get my hands on that. Um, but other than that, it ended up coming together beautifully. Um, yep. Um, it has a 17, 30 seconds inch brass inside the tube. That's what's extending it. You can see it right there. So you can, in fact, single load elites. And if you had a ramrod, it's almost, it is, in fact, a full 12, uh, one foot. 12 inches. So if you had a ramrod, you could in fact seat uh, an elite way down in there and use this thing as a heck of a sniper rifle. But uh, even just muzzle loading, it's got plenty of power. Uh, fires XBZs beautifully, which is of course what it's intended for. It's supposed to be a rocket launcher. Um, it goes quite beautifully with the Zapper Blaster. The zapper does need to be shipped off to my fan, but I'm going to be making another one of these because I have one more um, Panther. So I'll be having one of these, plus the rocket launcher. This will make one heck of a war loadout. The rocket launcher for shields and for sniping. The pistol, well, also for sniping because it's uh, got a Panther in there. So this was entirely too much fun. I will do a firing demo now. So let's go do that. All right, this is going to be a combined firing demo of my Zapper Blaster as well as my Super Scope Blaster. So let's see how well they actually perform. 110. 118. 105. And I don't think I'm getting any of those back because I think they all went into the Blackberries. But such is life. Let's take a look at the Super Scope. So the Super Scope actually does have a one foot long brass barrel going all the way into the, the back of the blaster. And so in order to get the full power out of that full length barrel, you actually have to use a ramrod, which I just grabbed some random thing from the bin. Uh, and so that last one is with the full one foot. The other ones were just, um, just fit right into the barrel, just manually. Uh, so, yeah, now for a rocket. All right, one of the early questions about this blaster from my local chat group uh, was, could it be loaded with multiple darts at once? Well, yes. Yes, it can. It can fire four darts at once, because that's how long the barrel is, and it looks like they're hitting at least 60 or 70 feet. So that's really, really cool. It's slow and cumbersome to load that many, though. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. The zapper is getting uh, 100, 110, and up, uh, which is fantastic. Not the most accurate thing in the world uh, with such a short barrel and firing, you know, just regular elite darts. Um, but definitely very powerful, given how fast things are moving uh, in a war. That could be uh, very, very useful. And this one is, of course, performing every bit as well as expected. Uh, like I said, in order to get the full power out of the foot of brass, you do need a ramrod when you load to actually get it seated all the way back there. I did not want to cut the shell in any way uh, on the out, you know, cosmetically, um, which which I would need it if I wanted to do a brass breach. I didn't want to do that, so I did this instead. And uh, I may uh, find some way of mounting using the uh, the brackets here to mount a ramrod. Um, either fabricate some sort of a mount or try to get a hold of the original scope and see if there's some way that I can easily fabricate a mount for a ramrod onto that. Uh, it's of course intended to be a rocket launcher 
and it fires the rockets about as you know as well as an XBZ will, uh, which is fantastic. It will be uh, very very useful in our wars since we of course allow shields. There you have it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, this was an idea. I don't remember who gave it to me. I think my group mentioned it. I know people mentioned it in the comments uh, when I posted this one. Uh, and it was a fantastic idea. I didn't even know this thing existed until people mentioned it, and I went and I looked it up. So, yeah, all sorts of comments. I love getting ideas. Sometimes they're just so good that I have to go out and do them. So, uh, go ahead and put your comments in the comment section. Contact information is in the description. If there's something you want to send me or talk to me about, feel free. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>